So just in case you weren't keeping track, it's already bloody June. June! We're almost halfway through 2022, which means it's time for the inevitable clickbaity best phones of the year so far roundups, hip hip hooray. And oh boy do we have a lot of phones to choose from. I've personally fondled almost 40 new blowers since emerging from my New Year stupor, and they haven't all been completely boring clones of each other, honest. Some have been good, some have been better, some have been alright, and some have been complete arse. But the big question is which ones are worthy of that precious spot in your purse or pants? Well, let's take a trip through memory lane and check out some of the best phones of 2022 so far. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So let's kick off with what is undoubtedly my most favourite phone of 2022 thus far, the innovative and eminently enjoyable third generation iPhone SE. Lol, just Josh and kiddies, this phone is an enormous steaming turd. Seriously, f*** this phone, f*** it right in its stupid lightning port and then dump it in the sea. Moving swiftly on, and whenever Samsung launches new flagship smartphones, YouTube is absolutely swamped with tech influencer types gushing high praise from every orifice, whether it's actually deserved or not so much. And this year's S22 series was a bit of a mixed bag, all things considered. The design didn't exactly elicit gasps of joy and wonder. The specs were all too familiar. But then to be fair, these are complaints that could be leveled at most manufacturers this year. The regular S22 was the one I really wanted to love, as it's one of very few smartphones released in 2022. You could actually just about get away with Colin Compact. Unfortunately, despite Boston's strong media chops and the usual enjoyable One UI experience, the S22 was somewhat crippled by dreadful battery life, rarely scraping through even a single day with a full charge. However, this is the Samsung Exynos version of the S22, which you get here in Blighty. Apparently, the Snapdragon model, which is available in the US, does fare a bit better in that department. So if you're in the UK, you're tempted by the S22, you might want to look at importing it. Or alternatively, for a bit more cash, you can always upgrade to the S22 Plus, and I would heartily recommend doing so. Sadly, it ain't as compact as the name kind of gives away, packing an enlarged 6.6 inch screen. However, you will enjoy all day battery life and faster charging, which is a more than worthy trade off. And the Plus sports that same flexible camera tech, which can capture great looking home movies and detail packed pics in even quite testing conditions. Of course, if your pockets are absolutely stuffed with lovely cash and you want the best possible camera experience on a Sami smartphone, you could always upgrade again to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I gotta say, the S22 Ultra isn't one of my absolute favourite phones of 2022, but those optics are impressive, beyond the somewhat gimmicky 100x space zoom. The Ultra is ideal for snapping pics of your fam, and it served me well during a surprisingly boozy trip to Disney World, proven particularly good for capturing slick 4K video. However, it is also a complete heifer, one-handed use is definitely right out. Still, no other smartphones this year boast that excellent S Pen stylus, which might sway creative users and serious businessy types to make a purchase. Now, one of the smartphones that surprised me and pleased me the most in 2022 is the Xiaomi 12, another flagship smartphone costing a little less than the regular Samsung S22. This right here, this is all I wanted from Sami, just a compact smartphone with dependable battery life, hallelujah. The Xiaomi 12 is a premium smartphone through and through, from the crisp and punchy AMOLED screen with HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision support, to that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset running the show, ideal for a bit of gaming on the go. You don't get any kind of telephoto options stuffed into the camera hardware, but this blower can capture fantastic photos and respectable home movies in almost any conditions. And it's all wrapped up in a hardy coloured shell that feels great in the hand. Of course, the usual premium smartphone caveats do apply. No micro SD support for expanding the storage, no headphone jack, yada yada. And of course, not everyone will get on with Xiaomi's MIUI launcher, which is slapped on top of Android 12, even though it does have more of a stock Android vibe in these latest iterations. It can still be a little bit janky, and you don't get the same level of OS and security update support that you do from rivals like Samsung. But all the same, I gotta say, the Xiaomi 12 is a proper cracker. I'd happily use it every day as my full-time smartphone, and that's why it's one of my best picks of 2022 so far. Now, another magnificent flagship smartphone from 2022 is the Oppo Find X5 Pro, which again is far from cheap. But if you want the best of the best right now, then you better start yanking out Grand's gold teeth because the Find X5 Pro really is worth it. 
No, it's definitely not dinky like the Xiaomi 12, but it is just as clever. And the real highlight here is that camera setup. Sony's IMX766 sensor is paired beautifully with Oppo's own Marasilicon X NPU, or Mazza, as it's known around these parts. The resultant partnership is better than fish and chips, or beer, and more beer. We're talking incredibly natural looking pics and video, even in very test and light, and especially at night time. Yeah, the telephoto shooter isn't as impressive as the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultras and it's got all of the usual problems that flagship smartphones have these days, no expandable storage, etc. But that bright white model, oof, just, oh. And factor in the excellent battery life, the tip-top performance and the impressive overall user experience and this is a proper gold star smartphone. Of course, the Oppo Find X5 Pro does cost a slightly ludicrous £1,200. Yeah, but never fear if you happen to not be completely minted to the point that you line your cat's literature with original Moni masterpieces. Well, there's always the regular Oppo Find X5 instead. This still serves up some of the best camera tech of the year, including that Marisilicon chipset, so once again, the optics are on point. A few of the specs have been cut back to save some cash, however, such as the Snapdragon 888 chipset, which runs the show instead of that fresher 8 Gen 1. Bit of a bummer considering the Find X5 still costs over 700 quid here in Blighty and you could definitely pick up cheaper handsets with the HN1 stuffed inside but all the same it is a very good handset indeed. Now next on my greatest hits of 2022 list is the Vivo X80 Pro which once again boasts some almighty camera tech. This time it's some Zeiss branded hardware, gimbal stabilization and yet another swanky image and chipset to spruce up your captured memories. Those specs aren't particularly standout, but they are proper beefy. You've once again got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with dedicated cooling tech to smash through even the most memory guzzling games out there, plus a big old battery with 80 watt wide and 50 watt wireless charging support. And yeah, you'll happily get all day battery life from this beast, no worries at all. The near 6.8 inch AMOLED LTPO display makes everything look good, besides baldy YouTube gits obviously, with a super fine WQHD plus resolution. Although to be fair, most Androids costing around £300 and upwards come with a decent OLED display these days, so no biggie. And flip the Vivo X80 Pro around, you got yourself a smart looking finish that wouldn't look out of place in a boardroom smoking a big fat cigar. It's just so alluring in so many ways and it definitely gets a hearty uncle spurt recommendation. Now if you've got less cash to spunk on your next smartphone, well Realme has got you covered with the rather bloody good GT2 and GT2 Pro. Now I've done a full side-by-side in-depth comparison of these two Realme blowers here on the channel and I've got to say that regular GT2, even though it isn't as well specced as the Pro version, is stunning value for money. Got to say, I'm still not entirely sold on Realme's allegedly paper-like design, which feels an awful bloody lot like cheap plastic to me, but the AMOLED display is another stunner with Dolby Atmos stereo speakers and into the media experience. Like Oppo's phones, you've got a Snapdragon 888 or an 8 Gen 1, dependent on your model choice, although things are a bit cheaper here. Plus, you've got a beefy 5000mAh battery with 65 watt charge and support. And both of these GT2 branded phones serve up the same Sony IMX766 camera sensor as the Find X5 and the Find X5 Pro, albeit without those Marisilicon smarts. Overall, I've got to say great stuff, despite the fact that once again you are hampered by limited OS and security update guarantees. If you're a gamer, then you've got some solid smartphone choices this year too, including the Poco F4 GT and the Black Shark 5 Pro, which boast poppy out shoulder buttons and a wealth of excellent gaming features. And gamers can expect plenty more to launch before the end of the year as well, including Asus's ROG Phone 6, which is lingering on the horizon, should be one of the most premium efforts of the year by far. And those right now are my favourite phones that have launched so far in 2022, but there are quite a few also rands that are worth a mention. The OnePlus 10 Pro is a perfectly decent handset, but it doesn't really do anything to stand out from the crowd. Likewise, the Xiaomi 12 Pro was perfectly fine, but the battery life was a little bit cack. And then of course there's the Huawei P50 Pro, a lovely bit of hardware. Shame about the complete lack of Google services. Of course there are lots more big smartphones set to launch in 2022. The Xiaomi 12 Ultra is just around the corner. I did do a preview of that in an episode of Techspert Weekly recently, so check that out for more info on that bad boy. But in a nutshell, that'll be Xiaomi's first smartphone launched since it cozied up with optics expert Leica, who previously partnered with Huawei on all of their excellent smartphone cameras, so fingers crossed it's a good one. You've got Google's Pixel 7 and the 6a as well if you're a bit more skint. 
and of course those those iPhones if, if that's your bag. And if your budget is tighter than a guppy's bumhole, well, no worries. I have rounded up my favorite smartphones under a budget of £400, £300, and even £200 so far in 2022 as well. So go check out those videos for more on all that. Now I'll stop banging on. Let me know your own personal favorites down in the comments below. Have I been talking utter tosh? Great to hear from you guys as always. And please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.